Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name's Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. I haven't done a celebrity video for a little while and I did put um, a poll on my community page to see what you guys were interested in and um, there were some subjects around King Charles and Camilla, subjects around what William and Kate and subjects around um, Harry and Meghan. Uh, the King didn't get any votes <laughs> and William and Kate uh, got 70% of the vote and Harry and Meghan got 30% of the vote. So it's unanimous that we're going to be talking about William and Kate today, despite all of the different subjects and potential readings that we could do about the royal family with what's been going on recently. Um, so what's happening with William and Kate? Well, obviously Kate's been in hospital. Um, she's done, she's had an operation and that's all been um, kept under wraps as to what it actually was. And there's a lot of speculation around um, eating disorders and potential hysterectomy and who knows, but nobody actually knows the actual reason why she's been in hospital. And of course, recently with William having to um, you know, fill his calendar with a lot more uh, in-person sort of, you know, um, obligations that he has to do as a working royal because his father is uh, unwell. And, you know, if you've been living under a rock, King Charles has been diagnosed with a form of cancer. Uh, and and as also, we don't know what that is. But um, it is what it is right now. And so William and Kate are having to hold the fort. Um, no thanks to Harry, Harry and Meghan because they're, you know, they live in another country and Harry sort of flew in the other week uh, to share his concerns or to visit his father, but obviously that was a short visit and that was the end of that. Now, so I guess what we're going to focus on today's reading is William and, um, and Kate and find out, you know, how they're coping and maybe, you know, what is happening with them um, as working royals and whether or not, you know, there could be a potential here for, for William to um, become king a lot sooner than he was expecting. Um, obviously, cancer treatment nowadays for his father is is well in advance, and I'm sure they'd be getting the ultimate care. Um, but of course, as you know, cancer can linger for many years, um, or it can all be over in a matter of weeks. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. So anyway, I'm just going to do a reading and we're going to see what comes out. For those of you who are not sure, um, William is a Cancer and Kate is a Capricorn. Um, so let's have a look and see what comes through. Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides, what can you tell me about William and Kate right now? What's happening with William and Kate right now? Okay, three of um, pentacles is at the center of the reading. Interesting. We've got Justice. Oh, and we also have Mercury and Virgo in the foundation. Wheel of Fortune in the recent past. Two of Cups in the immediate future. Nine of Pentacles. King of Swords. King of Cups. And the outcome is Knight of Pentacles. In the bottom of the deck, we have the Wounded Warrior, Moon in Sagittarius. And we're going to clarify that on the split. Let's have a look. Hmm. Okay, Seven of Wands. Super interesting. Love it. Well, look, even though you guys voted and you wanted to hear all about Harry, um, William and Kate and what's going on with, with their relationship or what's happening with them next in terms of you know, the monarchy, um, there's there's a lot of interesting cards here that sort of indicate um, change and indicate um, wealth in the foundation here because we've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles together. So essentially it's, you know, two, two cards, one after each other. It's progressive. Um, and the Three of Pentacles in the center. Now this is Mars in Taurus. And Mars in Taurus can be a little bit... Um, I guess I'm getting this energy of having to be um, forced to work together. 
There's a collaborative energy here that is about, you know, real estate. Um, and let's talk about real estate for a minute. I mean, this is essentially a cathedral, um, but it is also about, you know, people coming together in terms of teamwork. But for me, this card is always about real estate. It's like, okay, where where is this all going to occur? How are we going to work together? How are we going to be able to, um, you know, uphold uh, the monarchy? And the fact that Harry recently flew over to visit his father and yet William did not want to see Harry or did not see Harry, um, the brothers are very separate at the moment and everybody is speculating that there will not be um, a reconciliation. Um, however, there's an interesting um, energy here with justice in the crowning position and justice is about restoring order. Um, harmony because it's ruled by Venus and um, balance and anything that's legal, it feels like there's something coming through here that's going to be restoring, um, you know, an energy of judgment, restoring an energy of um, harmony. And I know a lot of people don't believe that, but in the foundation, we've also got um, Mercury in Virgo. Now, Harry's a Virgo, okay, and there's also Virgo energy over here too, um, and there's Virgo energy in the outcome. So Mercury in Virgo is, um, you know, domicile because Mercury rules Virgo, but this card in particular is the Tree of Life card, and it's also the card of legacy, um, you know, inheritance, money, a windfall, um, and basically, you know, something that's been built over a very, very long period of time that does involve family, that does involve um, longevity, and that does involve um, finances, you know, the big money. I mean, Ten of Pentacles is the end of, um, you know, a life's work, and it can, again, also in include um, inheritance. But for me down the centre here, it just feels like this Base where it's like, listen, there's a lot at stake here. There's a lot of money, uh, you know, involved. And there's also a need here for everybody. Why can't we all just get along? Why can't we just sort of bury the hatchet? But there could also be something here in terms of legal um, legalities. Being that William and Kate also are, you know, the next in line uh, for the throne as king and queen, um, there needs to be some sort of signatures that are exchanged and perhaps even, you know, the king's condition is um, a lot worse than what we probably are aware of. And at the moment, um, this is a court sort of situation. I mean, Princess Anne has already come in and said certain things behind the scenes about Harry and Meghan using the name to be, I forgot the exact term, but... To basically, because they're not working royals, they can't use a royal surname. Um, but still, it feels here that there is something in the works currently about the the legacy of who's next in line. The Wheel of Fortune is in the past position, and this is Jupiter energy, which is good luck, good fortune. Um, but moving forward, it is about unity and love and um, being able to see eye to eye. And I mean, if this isn't sort of William and Kate, I don't know what is. And this is sort of more about, um, you know, Venus in Cancer, Venus being the, the planet of love and Cancer being William's, um, you know, sign. But there is a, an energy of love here. There is an energy of it's our turn. This is our time to shine. In the position of the querent, um, this is a woman who's financially independent, but it's also um, almost like, you know, a woman who's waiting. You know, it's almost like she's just hanging in there. This is Kate waiting for her turn um, and knowing that she is abundant, knowing that she can pick from the vine whenever she wants. But what's happening in the environment right now, it's really interesting, is the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords and the Justice card for me are one and the same in the Rider weight. And this is how I read the core cards. But King being Cardinal, this is Libra, okay, Cardinal Air. And Cardinal Air is also an energy of legal, um, converse, you know, 
decision making and signing of documents and also a big decision. So I feel like there's a big decision that's coming up here and the attitude is King of Cups, which is Cardinal again, um, and this is Cancer. So this is also um, William, not only that, but William as King, you can see here, King of Cups. So I feel like the attitude is obviously William will be King, but there are things happening here which are going to be very slow paced. This is Virgo, okay? This is an energy of, you know, someone here who's waiting. They're not actually going anywhere or doing anything. Um, and again, you know, Harry is a Virgo. He's actually just sitting here waiting his turn. He's waiting for something to change. Maybe the change of, you know, um, change of the guard. But if you were going to actually, um, you know, wait for your turn or wait for some sort of handout or wait for something to shift in the royal family, I mean, why would he have done the book Spare? Why would he have done what he did? You know, he always is, has money on his mind. He always has the coin in his hand. It's like he doesn't want to be um, shortchanged. But what's really interesting is the overall energy, okay? The overall energy is moon in Sagittarius, and it's clarified um, by Mars in Leo. And Mars is a combative energy. It's like, you know, knowing when to stand your ground, you know, what you're okay with, what you're not okay with. But the overall energy is moon in Sagittarius. And so with moon in Sagittarius, Sagittarius being like, you know, long distance travel and the moon is what's in shadow. And there's also an energy here of William feeling, I guess, a little bit um, like the wounded warrior. You know, he's been attacked a few times. Um, he's obviously persistent. He's obviously knowing that that's his role in life and that's what he's he, he's been born into and he was, he's going to honour what he needs to do. But he also needs to create some healthy boundaries here. And I feel like he's basically sort of in a position to tell Harry um, to back off, even though over here we've got an energy of some a Virgo in waiting. Um, so that's also very interesting. Um Obviously, Megan isn't even in the picture here. It's interesting because this is um, Mars in Leo, which is, you know, uh, Megan is a Leo. So this is an, an energy of like making sure that, you know, the boundaries are set and that a lot of people have been hurt here. A lot of people have been damaged. Um, but the wounded warrior here is also that moon energy. Again, moon in Sagittarius and moon is is the hidden things here that are not revealed, things that are in shadow. So I feel at the moment that there is some paperwork being signed behind the scenes and there's some restoring of order and balance um, with the king up here. I mean, both the cardinal energies of Libra and Cancer in the top half of the reading, we have the, the sword and the cup. And then in the foundation, it's all about legacy and earth energy and money. Now, this is Venus in Virgo, and this is Mercury in Cancer. So not only do we, uh, Mercury in, in Virgo. So not only do we have Harry in the bottom here as well with that sort of mercurial energy, but also in the outcome. So I feel like there is an attempt here to make amends and to reconcile. I mean, I know this reading wasn't requested to be about Harry and Meghan, but it feels to me like with this Virgo energy uh, in the reading, the Mars in the center and the Mars in um, in Capricorn, and also the fact that um, we've got a defending energy here of, you know, that, that sort of Mars again in Leo, um, defending that moon in Sagittarius, it's kind of like, no, no, don't go, Harry. No, no, don't go. Um, perhaps when the king dies, if he really did have a problem with, um, you know, the king, if the king passes, well, then he's not a problem to Meghan anymore and he's not a problem to Harry anymore. If Harry does apply for that citizenship, perhaps it's a done deal, it's over and done with. But because I guess the, the king is now unwell, it feels like William is going to just stand his ground, sign the paperwork, and I think things are going to move forward pretty quickly um, in terms of this cup energy and in terms of, um, you know, Harry moving forward. I would even go to, I'm even going to go as far to say that in a year from now, 
and because these videos are recorded, we can go back. But I would say in a year from now, I think Harry's going to return. That's just my that's just my gut feeling, and I feel like really strongly here that there could be um, something happening here with the king in as short um, as two months. Okay, um, because for me the, the month you know the cups are months and there's two, but then also. Um, there's a lot of things swirling around at the moment where there's a lot of uncertainty and the fact that justice is in the crowning position which is all things legal things need to be sorted out and the big decision here um, being that you know whatever needs to be signed documents um, anything that's um, requiring mastery in terms of the sword in terms of communication needs to be done quickly but the attitude being the cancer um i feel really strongly it's interesting because the king has cancer and william is a cancer they're two different things but are they are the same though that they are the same word and the king of cups here is in the attitude and that is the card of cancer as well so i'm actually thinking there's um there are a lot of battle scars here but at the same time i think there's going to be some um energy here in the center where you know we're going to have to work together here on this we're going to have to have some understanding you know threes are binna on the tree of life understanding coming together as uh, three of pentacles in this mars kind of capricorn energy um you know mars in capricorn being okay conflict with um with kate potentially you know how is that going to work um, how is the Mars with in Capricorn going to work with the Mars in Leo? <laughs> because this is Mars in Leo and this in the centre is Mars in Capricorn. So, you know, there is an energy here of back off distance um, and in the centre of the reading is, you know, this is all about teamwork. But, you know, can we all live under the same roof? Can we all get along? How is that going to look in the future? I actually don't think it's over by a long shot in terms of the reconciliations aspect of it, um, but I do think here that Harry is definitely waiting in the wings. No matter what happens here, once the king passes, it'll be interesting to see if um, William wants to stay as stoic as he um, is currently in order to obviously um, protect Catherine. Um let's just get some clarity on a couple of these cards let's get some clarity on the immediate future here two months two of um cups show me the two of cups here what does this look like show me william and kate yeah look at this star this is humanitarianism and also pluto's in um aquarius at the moment and um they're being spiritually led they're being spiritually guided to this moment what have we got after this judgment what did i just say pluto in aquarius um yeah end of a 20-year cycle and also um judgment the judgment of family phoenix rising from the ashes energy this is a resurrection his true calling a rebirth i'm going to take one more we have here sun in virgo again more virgo energy um harry working away here chipping away and if we look along the bottom now, we have 8, 9, and 10. We have a triplicity here. Okay, so 8, 9, and 10 um, in Virgo is, is really interesting. Um, I feel like, you know, Venus in Virgo, Sun in Virgo, Mercury in Virgo, I don't think Harry and Meghan are going anywhere. I think that they're going to um, maintain their status and chip away at this coin to ensure that they're going to get a piece of the pie. But it, you know what it really does feel like? It really feels like the wounded warrior over here is having to, you know, um, continually deal with this person and this energy overall it's kind of like back off creating healthy boundaries all the time but in a recent video i saw as well megan had her hand on harry's back you know she's constantly in contact with him constantly you know ensuring that she doesn't um, miss out on 
you know, this current status that she has. I mean, they have two children, but also the fact that um, he's, you know, he's her meal ticket. I'm going to get some more clarity on um, the Knight of Pentacles. Show me the Knight of Pentacles. Show me the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Planning. Sovereignty. Okay. Planning. Mars in Aries. I would have the whole world in the palm of your hand, Harry. And then... We also have the Six of Swords. This is a rite of passage, coming home, returning over water. I think he's coming back. I know people, it's a very unpopular decision. Uh, and you know what? I mean, the thing about um, also just coming up, on the 20th of April, we've got a conjunction with Jupiter and Uranus. And Jupiter is about luck, opportunity um, and change. We're in mid-February at the moment, so mid-February, mid-March, mid-April, that's two months. That's what's happening here in two months, as I said, an immediate uh, immediate future prediction. Uh, and in two months, you know, this could be a return. I'm going to just look at the bottom of the deck just to give one more final card. And we have temperance, okay, spiritual alchemy, deciding, um, you know, how to create the perfect balance um, with, you know, harmony. And this is Michael. This is the, the angel of fire, being able to co-create with the universe in order to attain a level of victory and protection and courage and healing. Um, I feel really strongly that this Jupiter and Uranus conjunction is going to be in Taurus, okay, um, and the Taurus energy that's coming through is the Queen Mother, and the Queen Mother is watching. She's watching. And I feel like the good luck and good fortune and the way in which the conjunction is going to happen in about eight weeks' time, Jupiter is luck, good fortune, and expansion. Uranus is revolution and change. And Uranus next to Jupiter is very unpredictable, okay? But it's going into Taurus. It's going into that unpredictable space of, of value and values, the, the second house, okay? Well, traditionally, Taurus is about second house. But all of this is going to happen in terms of the first house um, of, of Taurus being um, that conjunction, Capricorn energy is about family and children. Um, and at that time, as well on the 20th, when the conjunction occurs, um, Capricorn is going to be sitting in the fifth house. And the fifth house is, is again, you know, family, uh, Leo energy, uh, a time of creativity and beauty um, as well. Anyway, I guess I'm digressing here a little bit, um, but it is very interesting. We've got um, the eight, nine, and ten of uh, pentacles here, all in the foundation. We have justice and um, cancer in the top half of the reading, which is the legal side of, of cancer and, and re restoring order and balance. Um, but that Mars in, in Capricorn in the center is also, um, you know, learning to, to work with one another and, and co-create and cooperate. Um, but that moon in Sagittarius is things that are hidden long distance. And I have this feeling that there could be an agreement or some sort of assistance that occurs um, long distance. Now, Harry and, and Andrew, I believe, were written out of being in any way, shape or form able to assist the king. But that's while this current king is alive. I think there is going to be a big shift here uh, in about two months' time. And we are going to see uh, a return, a rite of passage. And I think Harry's already planning it. I think he's planning something here that is in shadow. And once he, once the king passes, he will obviously be attending a funeral. Um, very, very, very interesting. Um, I know we didn't really talk about Kate much. Um, I see this. Uh, Venus in Virgo, I see this as Kate, um, you know, as above, so below, 
cancer and um, Kate in the foundation here, and then in the middle, this paperwork, this big decision about them becoming king and queen. Uh, I'm going to get some information about Kate. Angel spirits, guides, angel spirits, guides. What is Kate? Uh, what are we? What are we talking about? What's happened with Kate in hospital? I'm going to find out a little. Try to see if the cards say anything about Kate in hospital. Okay, we've got the Queen of Pentacles, we've got the Three of Swords, uh, Three of Wands, and we have the Two of Swords, and we have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? All of these cards came out together. Look, that's a lot. Um, I guess if you want to just look at the first card, the first card here is the Queen of Pentacles, which is, you know, Taurus energy, and this is the Queen Mother coming through here. It's almost like her successor. But, you know, Kate's ships are coming in now. She's... um just waiting for that moment but at the moment she's also um, resting she's in peace mode she's in meditation mode she's waiting um, for this cardinal moment moon in Libra is the marriage moon in Libra is you know what's hidden at the moment and then the outcome here is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow this is Mars in Pisces so I think um, you know she she is next in line I mean this is almost like a succession um, it doesn't say or give me any messages about her illness. It's just telling me that her, her time is coming and it's not far off now. She's starting to see the, the ships coming in. She's starting to feel uh, the sun in Aries on her back. I'm going to see if um, I can get one more card. Let's see if we can get some answers on the, the health. I mean, health is Taurus as well health and wealth. Um, let's have a look here. Show me the Queen of Pentacles. What's health? What's Catherine? You know, what was wrong with Catherine? Do we need to be concerned? Let's have a look. Anything coming through here, spirit? Okay, this is the first card that came down. We've got victory here, which is Jupiter and Leo. We've also got the Queen of Swords distancing herself. And being able to move forward in the chariot with with uh, with William, you know, this is again major arcana cancer. Um, I think she's just kept her head above water. I don't think that we need to be concerned about um, lots of different, I guess, conspiracies around her health. She look, she's very thin. I mean, let's face it, she is the the sample size. I mean, if you go into She's dressed by the House of McQueen or every day. You know, that's her favourite designer. Uh, half her luck. But when she does wear the outfits, you know, she turns sideways. You can't you can barely see her. She disappears. And there were there was also controversy around bandages around her to her index finger and her other her third finger. Um, because sometimes people with bulimia they can get uh, acidic kind of sores on their finger from, you know throwing up um but then who knows i mean we're never going to know and other people have also mentioned the ring you know she's wearing diana's ring and maybe that you know had some sort of <laughs> spiritual curse uh against it because of what diana went through with her eating disorder um but i just feel here like it doesn't feel like we're ever going to know. I, I think that this is a, this is all very proud energy. You know, this Leo is pride and Aquarius is, you know, she's, she's the ice queen. You know, it's like never, you know, don't complain, don't explain. But she is back waiting her time here and she is going to be the next queen. And I just think it's going to be a lot sooner than later, a lot sooner than later. As I said, um, I'm going to check in on this in about two months' time. If uh, you're watching this and you give the video a thumbs up and you feel that some of this made sense to you, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed this new celebrity video about the royals. I understand. I know that they're popular. Um, not sure if this video will take off, but share with friends, give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button uh, and that notification bell. Thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate you being here. Uh, until next time, see you then.